guys, um, I am back with a plan with me and my Erin Condren, and this week I am going to uh, be participating in um, a tag that a couple of um, planner girls uh, here on YouTube put up that was uh, Harry Potter themed. So I have this um, printable kit from Mint Gym Paper Co. And I just wanted to flip through the kit real quick before I go and kind of get all the stickers ready and then I'll be back to actually do the planning. So you've got um, the full boxes and this is a very kind of, um, this is clip art I know that's come out recently and a lot of shops have done it. Um, I was too impatient to wait for a shop to like order one and wait for it to get to me in the mail. So I just went ahead and did a printable kit. Um, and I really liked these full boxes. Here are the heart checklists. Um, I really like the date covers. And you've got some headers and little things, some washi. And then I liked this, um, bo the bottom washi with the bows. Um, I like the, I, I, one of the reasons I chose this particular kit, um, you got your little things and, um, your, headers and your flags. I chose this kit was because the colors um, kind of go in line with a lot of my other, like the, like it feels very spring and like I think the first day of spring is this week or yeah. Anyway, so you've got the deco, weekend banner, checklist little things, habit trackers, weekly box. So yeah, okay, so that's the kit. And um, I will be right back. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and start kind of setting up um, this week with like bottom washi and stuff like that and um, kick off this tag. So like I said earlier, this tag was um, organized by four girls that I, who's plan, plan with me so that I really enjoy watching. Um, we've got Holly from Holly Plans. Viv from Viv Loves to Plan, Kiara from Paper Princess Plans, and Jasenia from the Planner Sophisticate, and I'll include links to all their channels down below, though I'd be really surprised if you, you know, if you if you watch Plan With Me, as you probably follow, watch at least some combination of them. So, well, anyway, so they, they did this tag and kind of said, you know, if you want to join us, go ahead. And I, so I pseudo invited myself because I will, um, I always want to talk about Harry Potter and it's planning. So yeah. So these are questions at, you know, as I do this, I'm going to kind of go through some of the questions in the tag that they answered. Um, and the first question is when I want to make sure I don't put this washi down, upside down. Uh, when did you first read the books? So I had to like go look up when they were published because I remember, I remember it based on like where I was in school and anyway. So I, the, I was in eighth grade and when I first read the books and my younger brother's elementary school teacher um, had recommended them to, for my brother. And I think, my, I, I vaguely think my mom, like, came home from parent-teacher conferences and was like, hey, Katie, um, you, I think you'd really enjoy these books. They're about wizards and whatnot. And I had grown up, she, um, I had grown up for her, with her reading, like, um, Chronicles of Narnia to me and stuff like that. So I was in eighth grade and the third Prisoner of Azkaban had, I think, just come out. And so, hmm, I think I'm gonna, gonna wipe that out. So I'll be right back. Um, so like I was saying, Prisoner of Azkaban had just come out. And, um, so I read, I read all three, the first three books kind of like Knowing me, I probably read them in like a weekend, um, and because um, those first those first three are are shorter definitely um, than the rest of them. So then, and I just I distinctly remember being very excited for the fourth book to come out. 
Um, and so, and it, it came out when I was starting high school. So, and then from there I kind of read them as they went. Let's go ahead and put that date cover down. So one thing that it's worth mentioning, um, I bought my Erin Condren like in October of 2017. And so like if you like started planning obviously in October. And so then this year when everything, you know, when it turned over to New Year, I had like a, I had an Erin Condren that was like two thirds of the way empty. And I didn't really see the point in Let's see, how do we want to do this? Do we want to put the flag and then the date cover? Yeah, let's do that. Um, I didn't really see the point in wasting like two thirds of an Erin Condren. So I have just been planning in my Erin Condren. And then you can see here, like I have, I definitely, like I have to back plan this week. And this was the other week um, of my birthday, and I've got to finish this, finish the weekend, and I haven't even done last week. But anyway, um, so I, I just use date covers and cover up the dates. So like these aren't the right dates, but this is the right like last week in in March, um, because I would rather like use it up, and it doesn't like I I'm gonna somehow mark once I'm kind of done with this planner, mark it so that I, like, I know that, like, this is 2018. Um, because it, in theory, this is a little bit of memory planning kind of thing. So anyway, uh, I'm just doing the date cover. So, so yes, I know that the, cut, the dates aren't correct. Um, but I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so when did you, yeah, so... How many times have you read the read the books or the series all the way through? Um, so I like love reading. I like was an English major in college, got a master's degree in literature. So like I love reading. I am not a huge rereader. There are very few books I reread over and over again. I will usually just move on to a different book and. I have probably read the Harry Potter series probably about seven or eight times. Um, and that's all the way through, like all of the books, like seven or eight times probably over the years. Um, the one that I've listened, like, and that doesn't include listening to it on the audiobook. So I have all of the audiobooks. And um, I remember when I was in grad school, I had an internship that like was several hours away and so several like several times a week I would have to get my car and drive like two hours round trip and so I would listen to those audiobooks over and over and over again and the seventh book in particular I have probably listened to that audiobook at least 20 times um I have no idea why um oh I definitely just put Monday on so yeah so I I it's a lot and it is one of the few series or books or anything like that. So I whited this March out because it was really ugly. Um, and I was going to cover half of it with the flag. And I don't really love the white out, like in person. Like from probably from a picture, it look, it'll look fine, but I don't like it from the in person. Um, and that's because it's not the nice white out, it's the cheap white out. Um, so yeah, so I've read them a lot. Okay, uh, what is your favorite book? So I thought about this a little bit. Um, and here, before I get started, I, I've picked out my full boxes from the kit, and I'm going to scatter them. Um, yeah. So, uh, what is your favorite book? So, I, I thought about this a lot, and from just, like, pure, like, experience of reading it, I loved the fourth book. I loved it so much. I don't know why, I'm, I mean, it was the first book that I read after getting to know the series, that like when it first came out. Okay, so I'm gonna go do this a little bit backwards. I know I wanna do kind of like a double full box down here. Um, and I just, and, and I just feel like, I mean, it sits right in the middle of the series. There's this huge transition for, for like, from like in terms of, tone and theme like the stakes go so high when 
in the fourth book like after everything after it is just this I feel like I feel like the after the fourth book everything just moves really fast in terms of like character development and everything's unfolding because she's like set up this really great like world to play in and she's put all of her I mean to think of it as a chess game like she's it's like the moment when you realize you're going to win. I, I don't know if that's probably the right way to think of it, but I don't know. So anyway, the fourth book for me, I just absolutely loved. And um, I thought it was funny. I loved how it expanded the world with the Triwizarding Cup. I loved, like, the kind of, like for good reason in the fifth book like Harry just yells a lot he's like in all caps lock a lot he's just angry and angsty and he totally like totally deserved and you know not let's see do I really want to put that there I'm gonna put that there we're gonna put that there normally I always put it there but we're not going to um but the fifth book was just a really like it was like emo Harry like I said, for good reason, but still, it was a lot. So I, um, I love the, like, boy-girl going to the dance, no one knows what they're doing, everybody has a lot of feelings, kind of part of the, um, fourth book. Like, that to me is, like, a fun, um, I kind of want to put that there. Is that a that weird that I okay well I'm gonna do this because who the hell cares um so anyway so the fourth book I like just just like nostalgia and for a lot of different reasons but then also the seventh book and the like like the the creative I so I I did a um I have a, a I did a degree in creative writing so and in fiction specifically so I've spent a lot of time like thinking and playing around with like fiction and how we tell stories and whatnot and there's so many elements about the seventh book that I that just like speak to how I love storytelling like the the idea the way of like the way that she used like a children's tale um to like impart this like really important information um, not just like to us the audience but in the world itself like it got a little meta I mean she, it's a children I mean her books are children's stories that obviously like adults make sticker kits about um, and like the power of like fairy tales and the power of imagination um, and that there's some some truth in there um, okay so just gonna stop talking for a second about the books so I can talk about stickers. So I am kind of color blocking. Um, I'm only doing the today. I didn't want to do like to to do and little things. Um, I'll be honest, this my Erin Condren planner is a little bit memory keeping and a little bit like planning like pre-planning my week out um I don't keep to-do lists in this like I keep that in basically like my everyday carry traveler's notebook so um how do we want to do this okay I know how I want to do this so anyway um so I really love the seventh book I love it for so many different reasons the way it's structured um the way she ties some things together um yeah so I really love that uh and I'll stop talking about the books and why I love those ones in particular because we'd be here all day. Um, so then the next question is favorite movie. So that one was a little bit harder for me. Um, I like the movies. They're great. Like I don't have a lot of strong feelings about the movies one way or the other. Um, I, I really remember loving the third movie because it felt like such a like like visually and stylistically it just felt like such a um like a step up from the first two i mean they had a new director i feel like they really kind of found their groove yeah so okay we're going to do yeah we're gonna do that um 
So yeah, that's my favorite movie. Um, I also do like the sixth movie, the sixth movie a lot, and I'm not entirely sure why. But when I was thinking about it, um, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of the last two movies, like the seventh, like the how they split it up. I understand why they split it up, but um, it just it just kind of drags, and I think that it's supposed to like the story. It's you know, I mean, she, I, that's one of the things I liked about the seventh book was, like, you got it. Like, this was not some thrilling, like, jump cut adventure, right? Like, it was a lot of camping. <laughs> um, and it wasn't fun. It was, like, yeah. But then, and that can come across in a book really well. I don't know if I really want to sit through, like, four or five hours of that. Um, so yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this, the last two movies. Um, and there was some, I remember, oh, I remember the way the seventh movie, I think that kind of like the battle and like they somehow end up outside of Hogwarts on that bridge in the end instead of in the Great Hall. And I just remember being really angry about that because I felt like for a lot of like important thematic reasons isolating the main three from the rest of the people in the Great Hall just was not what was supposed to happen with the story. Okay, um, what house are you is the next question. Um, I am in Gryffindor and I, uh, have always sorted into Gryffindor or always kind of identified as such, um, and I do, like, if I had to say, like, a secondary or, like, I've got some definite, like, Slytherin in me, but I am Gryffindor. Okay, next question. What house characteristics most describe you? So Gryffindors are known as um, being, like, courageous and brave and chivalrous and, um, have, like, daring and having a lot of nerve. Where's that header? Where's my header? There it is. Um, and I, like some of that I really identify with and some of it I don't. Um, I, so because I'm a dork, I looked up the difference between brave and courageous because I was like, well, what, there's, I, I like, I know there's got to be some, some nuance to those two terms. Um, and I, so anyway, I, when I looked it up, like, courage, courage, you know, kind of is what you think it is. Bravery is, like, the appearance of courage. Um, and not an appearance, like, in a false way, but, like, exhibiting it in a way that people can see it. And they, they, they look at you and go, you are, like, that's a brave person, right? Um, kind of like Harry definitely had, like, a reputation over time as being somebody who saves the day, so to speak. And, you know, some people thought that was great and some people thought it was super annoying. Um, so I would say that like, I am a fairly courageous person, but I'm not, like, I don't know how outwardly I, I come off that way. Um, I feel like inwardly I'm, I, I, I want to do the hard thing because I, I think there's real value in that. And not the hard thing simply because it's hard, but the hard thing because there's there's a reason. I, I don't know. I'm not describing it well, but I mean, even it just on a, like a personal note, like I don't know. I'm just I, I wanna I wanna try it out and see if I can do whatever is the the challenge in front of me. I, I just you know, even if other people don't know about it. Um, so, so that's definitely one. And then I looked it up on Pottermore and one of the th things that they described Gryffindors as was having a lot of nerve and determination. And I would say like, in terms of with me, one of the things that I experience is this, that I, I it's taken me a little while to realize that that's not how everyone's brain works. Is like when I come across something I haven't done before or is kind of scary, um, you know, even small things like at work where somebody's like, do you know how to do this? And I'm like, sure. And 
it's that's not I wouldn't call that doing that like saying that is not brave or courageous it can be kind of stupid actually but I do have enough nerve like I'm like well I'll figure it out like I'll figure it out we'll fit you know whatever it all be fine and I do think that there's something to be said let's see how do we want to do these um, so one thing is I wanted, I have these today ones, but I kind of color blocked them. I didn't include the green. For some reason I really wanted to stick with like the bluish purple and the yellow mustardy and this like reddish color. So I didn't choose green, even though I love green. Like it's one of my, it's probably my favorite color. Um, so I didn't have enough today headers. So I'm not going to use any of the today headers on the weekend. Um, and I'm just using these kind of washi strips and glitter headers that I cut out. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, oh, the nerve thing. Yeah, no, I just, I, um, let's see, we're going to do, if we keep up with the color, okay, so the red. Um, yeah, no, I, I would say I have some nerve and that really exhibits in that that ability to just kind of like make it up as I go and willingness to kind of commit to doing something even if I don't know how I'm going to get it done or like knowing that like I don't really know what I'm doing um and that that ha that can get you in a lot of trouble and I have had times when I've I have that was very stupid of me to do and not fair, like not fair to my team or to my coworkers because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but overall, I, I think it's a good thing. Um, okay, next question. Uh, fandom stuff. Have you ever participated in like the Harry Potter fandom world? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this. Uh, so yes and no, yes. Um, and it, like it, I think the question was like how and like what. So when I, I distinctly remember like l one of the things I loved about the books and like waiting for the books to come out were like th theories about the story and like I would read like fan written essays online about like different genres of literature that Rowling was um uh uh pulling from and like the names of the different the means of the different characters names and the spells and whatnot and I just really loved all of that um okay we're gonna do this and this and this um so I really loved that and I remember listening to some podcasts that did that um I've never read any Harry Potter fan fiction um, not because I'm against fan fiction, but I just, I think I just kind of missed that window a little bit. Um, I super, I really want to go to the, we the, wi um, wonder, the wizarding, wizarding Harry Potter world in, at Universal. I've just butchered that name. I really want to do that. Um, and I, ha it's like on my bucket list. I don't have a lot of stuff like that on my bucket list. I don't like that there. I might change that. Um, in fact, I might change this other one too. Yeah, I think I'm going to change that. Anyway, okay. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of like what I've done. Um, next question is, do you own any wands? And um, my answer, and the answer is no. Um, I don't really own any like Harry Potter Spanish y kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> I like when I, I remember, grab, um, so last couple years ago, I went to England with my best friend and we um, got to like eat, at, we went to Cambridge to see an old professor of ours. And while we were visiting, like we got to go to eat at like high table, and so that required us to like wear robes and um and the whole bit and um we we kind of like and and you know it was like in a great hall and there was like the table where we were at with all the professors and whatnot and then like the undergraduate students were down below and that like it was a fancy dinner that they served to us and um anyway so we got to do that 
and you know it was like in Cambridge England and so it was like very kind of old gothic-y and I just remember like loving it I mean we were so excited um so that's probably the closest I would say I've ever been um to like a really kind of fanish like experience um so yeah but I don't own any wands or anything like that okay um favorite character main character and mate and secondary character so this was hard for me um I I love Hermione I feel like that's like the most generic answer in the world I'm a brown haired girl who likes books so of course I'd like Hermione right but like when I was thinking about it like the things I like about Hermione like I I like I like how she um like how she thinks about making like sending her parents to Australia and her like little beaded purse with like all of the practicalities in it and I just I don't know there's just something about that that I just that really like appeals to me as a as a person and as a character um but she is not I mean I mean she sometimes she can be a bit of um oh gosh what's what's the term they say ex machia like she kind of just like comes in and she always like literally in um uh prisoner of no chamber of secrets like she literally has like the answer like curled up in her hand when she's turned to like when she's turned to stone and like it totally makes sense in the story okay you know what i'm gonna stop right here um, because I got to go kind of figure out all of my weekly plans and my sidebar and we will come back to me ranting about what my favorite characters are. Um, but I don't want to just sit here and have you stare at this, um, while I just talk. So I will be back in a little bit. Hey guys. Um, so I'm back with ready to plan kind of my day to day and I'm going to start with the sidebar. Um, and I'm going to have to at some point stop this so that I can, um, cause my battery is about to die. So I think I'm going to start, let's do this bow washi. Um, and I think what I, where I left off, I was talking about my favorite characters and, um, how much like Hermione kind of is kind of my like obvious favorite main character of choice. And, um, I, but in terms of secondary characters, like for me, that's a much easier thing to, um, decide on. So I'm bringing in these habit trackers from Piper Paper Co. Um, and these are just in her neutral colorway. And I hadn't really decided on which, I don't want to do the black because I'm going to be bringing in black elsewhere. So I think, let's do this, let's do this like medium gray. So this, this spread, I won't lie, this spread is like really busy for me. I, it's a lot. So I'm hoping to bring in a lot of neutrals with like functional stuff, like things I already own. So that's why I'm bringing in two habit trackers from there. And then, um... These are um, printable stickers, and I honestly don't even remember where I got them from. They're from Etsy, but they just say work, and they're like weekly um, trackers. And I'm actually going to, they're black, and I liked, uh, let's put a little bit of washi. Um, so. I like, again, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to kind of tone down some of this busyness um but okay so secondary characters um I love the marauders like I love everything about what we see in their background like of them of like Sirius and Remus and James and I mean even Wormtail just because like his story is really important to the overall story I don't particularly care about him as a character but you know whatever um Okay, and then we'll add a little bit more washi. Um, so I love them, and I love, like, what we see of them, and I just, yeah, I, I, I just, I don't know. 
I tend to like um, stories with what I call it a white space, right? Like stories where like with the Marauders are a great example of where we just don't have a ton. Like there's just a lot of fill in the blank space in the story. Like you know what you need to know for like Harry, like to, like for the actual important main story to make sense. Um, and I, I don't know, I just really am always, I find myself always loving like the white space in stories, so to speak. Okay, and I know this is covering up this bottom bit of the washi, but that's okay. So, um, I am, I am totally pulling in like leftovers that I have. So this is a very hodgepodge week. Um, so I am going to use, this is, these are leftovers from, um, the, uh, from GP Sticker Studios January Mystery Kit. And I wanted to use this to clean header. And it's, you know, it's definitely like mixing fonts, which isn't my favorite thing to do. But, um, I'm okay. I'll live. And then I wanted to do, um, exercise. Okay, so I was talking about second, secondary favorite characters. Um, who else? Oh, Lily. Again, another character, like, you just don't see a whole lot of her. But, um, I don't know. I just find, I find her to be really interesting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started on Monday, which I'm actually filming this on Monday, so it's a little bit of back planning. Um, but... I'm going to go ahead and use this, again, this is from the January GP Sticker Studio Kit, and the pinks, the pink goes, um, I kind of want to, do I have something that's not quite, like the pink and the purple, it just feels very Lisa Frank. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm also bringing in, like, all of the thing, random things. I'm bringing in this kit. These are from, these are recollections. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab this, like, little flag. And we will, that'll help break it up a little bit. And put that like that. Okay, so I really love Lily. I think that her story is really interesting. Um, people love Snape. I mean, he's not a secondary character at all. I have never, you know what, I don't like that. Um, I mean, I find Snape incredibly problematic. Like, <coughs> excuse me, incredibly so. Um, and I don't find, like, his, like, where he says, like, always, and that, like, I don't find that line to be particularly romantic. I, I mean, maybe tragic. Not even tragic, though. Like, let's be honest. He was a, sh he was a shit. I mean, he, like, ultimately he did good, a good thing. Um, okay, so film, I need to film, um, my, this video. And, um, I need to upload a plan with me. I really love these. I've, you guys have probably seen these before on my channel. I really love them. I think that they're super, um, versatile. These are, I mean, I'm not a big Michaels sticker person at this point, but these are ones that I, um, really enjoy. Okay, so let's do, let's do that. And we're just gonna kind of name that as We'll just write, like, plan with me and upload video. Because they're kind of the same. Like, this, it's like, kind of like pajamas. Like, me time, face mask kind of thing tonight. And then the two things I needed, the two things I wanted to check off. And I'm just going to take um, this, like, checklist and cut it down. And we're going to do, let's do that. Um, so yeah, oh, Holly, on her channel, Holly Plans, like, went on a whole, like, Snape rant, um, or 
commentary, I guess. A rant. I don't want to call it a rant. It's, you know. Um, which about like how problematic he can be like as a character and I'm all for like problematic characters I love them um I think they're really important just good stories I, I have no problem with Snape as a character absolutely none I think he's a fantastic character um I think he's a shit person and I don't find him particularly in any way to be romantic or tragic or heroic um Mostly, not because, I mean, he, he, great, he, he stayed the course, he was a double agent, life was very hard for him, I'm sure, okay, but, like, he was also a teacher, and he was terrible to his students, like, terrible, and they had nothing to do with, I don't know, he just, like, let's be honest, he's a little, okay, I'm gonna stop going on a Snape rant, I promise, in, like, a second, but he was just, he was so damn emo. And he didn't have to be. Like, he had a lot of, like, there are a lot of really great characters in this series who had rough circumstances or who had things that weren't fair. Hey guys, um, so I let my camera cool down a bit, um, and yeah. So anyway, I'm going to pick back up. I was just finishing up Monday, and I just had one more thing I wanted to kind of note down here on Monday. So I'm just going to put a little asterisk um, down here to kind of note that, and we can move on to Tuesday. Um, so on Tuesday, I have, um, let's see, it's yellow, yeah. So on Tuesday, I have, um, I, I need to, like, do all the things financial. So, like, my taxes and some other stuff. So I'm just going to use this flag. And this is from the kit. And it kind of matches that, like, lightning bolt pattern. Um, and let's see what else. Um, I have, let's see, I know I have a little bow. This little bow was from the um, kit and I'm just going to use, well, let's see. I want to use a little bit of foil. Let's use an icon. Actually, let's use this little asterisk again. Um, and that's just to note that I have, I want to upload a video that day, which will be this video. So, um, we'll go ahead and do that, and then um, I'm going to use this this yellow bow to note that I have um, some copy due to um, a contract, a freelance contract writing gig that I um, have, and then that I also really do want to meal prep that night. So I'm going to go ahead and take... Um, a little icon from this recollections kit and just do that and that should that's pretty much all of of Tuesday I've got I've got a bunch of work meetings this day but I'm trying not to know I'm trying to just focus for this plan planner just use it not for my like my my, when I say work, I mean like my office job, um, that I, I work about three days a week um, at um, doing communications in, uh, for an organization, and I and then I do, the rest of my work is freelance, and so they're both work, but the office job just feels very formal. So when I say work, I mean that. Um, okay, so then Wednesday, Wednesday I wanted to do, I've got my, there, okay, um, my tripod was sitting on some of my planners, or on some of my sticker sheets, so on Wednesday, I wanted to, I know that I want to kind of use that day, like, check back in, I've got some kind of, like, like a midweek pre-plan check-in with, um, my various things, and then that day is going to be a lot of computer work, so I am going to just note that this, so this um, little like TN is 
from um, my newest addiction and this little laptop is from Piper Paper Company um, and I, I really love those in particular. So um, a lot of that day is going to be spent doing that and then that evening um, I want to go ahead and do my nails. So I'm going to take this little bow from the kit and um, just do that. I'm going to actually do it down here to mark my nails. And then um, in here, let's see, what do I want to mark down in here? I'm going to leave this, this spot open. Um, I know I've got stuff, and I'm just not thinking of it right now. Okay, so moving on to Thursday. Ooh, I need to finish my questions. Okay, last time we were talking about, um, I was just ranting about Snape. Um, I, I, li listen, he's a great character. I don't have any desire, I don't see the appeal to kind of romanticize a lot of his actions. Um, I think he was super flawed, and I, again, I think that makes for a great character, and I probably wouldn't want to have been around him in real life. So, not that, that matters, because he is fictional. Okay, um, favorite magical creature? I have no idea. I, I tried to think of this, and, um, I, I don't, some of them are cute, but they're usually the cute ones that are annoying, and the really interesting ones are not cute and a little creepy and scary. Um, I kind of like that spider thing, but I hate spiders. That's what I mean. Like the spider character, uh, Aragog or Argog was super interesting, but hell no. Um, so I don't know about that one. Um, okay. Favorite quote. I have a lot of thoughts and feelings around favorite quotes. Um, and I'm going to try to do this while I plan. Um, Okay, so on Thursday, I need to um, post, so I need to send, I have some some writing, like I have a, a writing deadline that I need to send to an editor, so I'm just going to mark that with that, and then, um, okay, so my favorite quote is um, from the book is from the seventh book and it's it's ha it's Harry talking to Dumbledore um, after they've been they've met at what is what Harry kind of perceives as King's Cross and he's uh, um, Dumbledore Harry asks if this has been you know did this really happen like is this just in his head and Dumbledore says of course it is happening inside your head Harry but why on earth should it that mean it is not real and um just especially given like as a book and how books and novels are so much about what's happening in your imagination and then like the experience of having what happens in your imagination happen and sharing that with other people and it's never going to be the exact same but it, I just I don't know I just find that really to be a lovely lovely quote um and then the other quote I really love is from okay Katie put something down on paper so that these poor people could move on with their lives um okay uh so Thursday um I do need to go to the grocery store so I'm just going to put a little icon down there to note that and then that evening, um, well, okay, so that afternoon I have, I get off of, I get done kind of with my office job on Thursdays, and Thursday afternoon I have like an all day kind of meeting, or all afternoon meeting, uh, writing meeting um, for a project, that I'm super excited to, to just kind of tackle that. And then Thursday night, um, do I have one of these? Yeah, I'm going to just take this little TV icon, TV little thing, um, and put that there. Okay. Um, uh, Superstore is on, which is like my current, fa one of my current favorites. Um, okay, so the other quote is from Chamber of Secrets, and it's from the movie. As far as I know, there's no, um, it's not in the book. But, so, I would guess, 
it's worth crediting Steve Cloves, who wrote the the uh, screenplay for that movie. But it's Tom Riddle talking about the diary. He's in the Chamber of Secrets, and he says, Funny the damage a silly little book can do, especially in the hands of a silly little girl. And I just, like, distinctly remember watching that in the theater and wanting to, like, fist pump. And I don't really know why, except that it just felt like a little meta talking about, like, the books and how they like sprung from the imagination of of you know J.K. Rowling, who I think is wonderful. I don't. I think that she has sometimes said and done some, you know, kind of problematic things, um, but but not any more so than I think any other human being. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't know. I just really like that quote. Um, yeah. So, so there's that. Okay, so that, that finishes up the, the questions. Let's go ahead and finish up this plan with me so that you all can move on with your lives and so can I. Okay, so I'm going to replace this little icon here. This was like a leftover icon that I just had from an old kit. And I'm going to use this grocery foiled icon from the recollections thing. And then I'm also going to use a foiled icon just to mark down Superstore, um, just because that makes me happy. Um, and then here, yeah, so I'll write in the rest here. So then that gets me to Friday. So Friday I have a, um, let's see what's happening Friday. Oh, it's a work day. So it's going to be one of those. So Fridays are my day to like do all of my freelance work. So I basically just sit in front of my computer all day Friday. So that's what that's going to be. And I'm just going to mark, I'm going to like double up on the like icons here because honestly, like I just need to get shit done. I, I don't know how else to describe that. So I'll write it in there, and then, um, and actually what I'm going to do is, do I have another one of those little, like, check marks? Because I do actually have, oh, I don't. Okay, let's use, let's use these little ass, ampersands. So I have, like, two or three things that I need to get done on Friday, um, and, like, I just need to get them done. Like, they're all, like, people want to pay me, like, I, I, I'm going to get paid to do them. Like, I just, there's nothing other than they're not immediate. I don't know if you guys, um, yeah, let's just do one. I don't know if you guys struggle with that, but if, like, I don't have a deadline, sometimes I can be super uh, lazy about stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much all day. Friday, um, I do have a meeting on Friday afternoon, and I'm just going to mark that with another bit of foil, and we'll do this little guy here, and um, I'm going to mark it with a little kind of like cocktail glass because it's a meeting on Friday afternoon that will include um, cocktails, which is always a fun thing. Okay, so then, um, then I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So on Friday night, my like, some of my best friends are coming over. My birthday was the beginning of the month and we were supposed to like go out for it and then everybody and their mother got the flu. So, we rescheduled it for this Friday night. So they're actually just coming over, and we're going to do fondue, and I want to mark that with this cupcake kind of icon. Okay, so then Saturday, Saturday is all about cleaning. You know what? I'm gonna put this bow on here too. 
not thrilled with this. I'm, I, I really like this kind of black and white background, like the brick, but I haven't used it barely at all. Like it's only here. So why don't I do this? Why don't I compromise? Instead of using the thick one, I'm going to use this medium sized one. And actually, you know what? I'm not. Let's be honest. If I'm not loving it, then there's probably a reason. So I really kind of want to just use like this. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to use this blue bow and to just mark like a girl's night. Um, and we'll just kind of I'm gonna put that there or there. I like it there. I'll just, I'll make my writing, my handwriting, like go around it. Okay. Okay. So Saturday, Saturday, there's nothing particularly fun about, um, Saturday except that, um, I'm gonna clean everything. So I've got this little cleaning day script from the kit. So I'm just going to put that there. And let's just include a little, little foil checklist. Um, kind of mark that off. And then I did want to do a little bit of, so I, I tend to kind of try to plan by quarter. Oh weekend banner. So this weekend banner is from, is like really random. I don't think I want to use it. Okay. I'm not going to use the weekend banner. Sorry. Okay. Um, what I was going to say is that I, 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 so we're getting to the end of the first quarter of the year and I, um, kind of wanted to take some time on Saturday to just kind of check in with some of like my big picture goals um, and whatnot. And then I also wanted to film and edit that day. And I'm just gonna take this little flag, which is from the kit. Come on. There we go. note that and then on Sunday so Sunday is um what's that oh plan maybe I should no that's a little too much okay um so Sunday is the is Palm Sunday um, so I have church that morning and it's, it's, you know, it's one of our bigger days out of the year. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that with this and, um, I want to do that one. I think I had another one. So these little, <laughs> I know they're like, they're, they're like plus signs. Like I think they're for like going to the doctor but they kind of look like a cross. So that's just, just to mark down church. And then um, that night, I've got another, one of my other favorite TV shows is on. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that down. And I'll use another little heart icon. Um, usually I watch more TV than just like, this is a 30 minute sitcom. This is like an hour drama. And that's it. Normally I watch more during the week, but there's just not much on right now that I want to be watching. Um, so, so there's that. I don't, okay. So that's, I mean, it kind of just, it looks like two icons are just morphing into one, like a cell or two cells. Like, anyway, that's weird. Um, okay. So. There's church and, and then honestly, Sunday is just about getting ready for the week. So I, sometimes I, I don't do this every week, but sometimes I'll just kind of look at my week. And I'm like, okay, what is like, what is the main goal for my week? And my main goal for this week is to just like get all those little things off of my to-do list. Like all the little, like 
little things that have just been kind of, like I'm kind of approaching this week as like a spring cleaning kind of thing where I'm just trying to get like a lot of these different things that I've got marked um, are um, about like getting things just like done and off of my list. So that I can kind of kick off like April after after Easter, after, you know, the, once the weather starts to get nicer, like I can kind of feel like the beginning of 2018, I've kind of wrapped up. So, okay, well, I am um, gonna fill this off off camera. Here's like the little wiggle. There's not a lot of foil on here. I've definitely got, but I've ordered some foil and so I'm looking forward to that coming but um, if you want to see this spread with um, all filled out in pen definitely go ahead and go follow me on Instagram um, the link is below in the description and it's um, the same as my handle here on YouTube um, and I will post a picture of this um, all spread out I've got some spots where I'll probably fill in with some deco as the week goes on but anyway um, thank you for watching Hit that subscribe button if you haven't hit, if you haven't subscribed yet. And um, I would love if you have any like Harry Potter thoughts based on my like random like ranting, uh, please leave uh, them down in the comment. I obviously love the stories and love talking about them. So until next time, bye.